Today I'll be talking about an app I made. This is filling a need for me because what I wanted didn't quite exist and this fills it all while being quite minimalistic. It's a chess app I made in C and it's meant to just be a simple chess board. Not quite a game engine because it doesn't keep track of moves, you can make illegal moves, um, you can spawn in pieces randomly, things like that. But I, I still find this just incredibly useful. And it's also good as a graphics display for Fen. So one thing I wanted to do is be able to take a puzzle in this Fen notation. If you don't know what that is, it's a standard chess notation. And it represents this chessboard in a very compact form. So oftentimes puzzles be written in Fen notation. And I thought it'd be very nice to take some Fen notation, feed it into a program, and it displays it for me. And I couldn't find a good way of doing this offline. There are websites like LeeChess, which are very good with this. But there's a few extra features that, that I quite like. So I'll go through the features one by one, and I'll be doing it by consulting the README. So here I have my Suckless Chess, and I'll open up some more links that we'll need later. So, and, whoops. Ben. There we go. Okay, so this is the README. It does go straight into you can use, you can load in Fen. So we can try doing that. Let's take a random one of these. And let's use it to load in some Fen. And I'm going to make this a lot bigger so you can see it. There we go. And hopefully it does not show the starting position. It will instead load this in correctly. And it does. And you can verify that if you go back here, just, just remember the end, 5B1 capital R, and then 5B1 capital R, this is what it looks like. We can flip it around. This should be a, a, a puzzle of some kind. Feel free to solve it. And notice that if we switch it around to Black's perspective, it actually changes the Fen to say it's now Black's turn. It also recognizes there's no castling. So all of the kings have been moved. So there's no castling. If we go back to the starting position, we'll see there's all these castling options. In Fen notation, capital letters mean white pieces. And then lowercase letters mean black pieces. Here, for example, it says we can castle king side. If we move the king, suddenly down here, it goes missing because there's no king to castle with. If we move it, same thing. If we move just the king side rook, then just the k vanishes because we can no longer castle king side. Same thing here with the queen side. Let's go back to the read me. If you just start the game, uh, so if you just start it just by doing chess, it just loads in like this. There are many key bindings. They do different things. So space will display the names, just like that. So you can always infer the names from the numbers and letters at the side. But if you're looking in the middle and you're not used to it, you might not know that's E4. So you can just go like this. And the board actually stays when you do this. So you can move a piece like this. Key bindings. F will flip the board. So if you're playing a game with someone, you can move here, then hand it to them, they'll move here, etc. Space have already showed toggles between showing the pieces or the square names. D will dump the current position to a text file. And the text file all of this runs on is .local share chess. A standard place to put things. Um, so let's just remove this Ben file. So now it's not there. Let's make a position. And I'll quickly memorize this bit here, <laughs> press D, and then look, there is now a text file, and the fen is there. And if I change it, and let's make an impossible position, let's put a black queen and another queen, then it appears. <laughs> Right-clicking, delete a piece, 
left clicking just moves them. C will step, reset the board and then capital C will left shift C will uh, clear it entirely if you just want a blank one. So when I'm demonstrating my blindfold knight and queen game, I'd probably do it like, like this. You can go backwards and forwards. So if I go back to the starting position and make some moves, you can go backwards and forwards in time. Let's make a few more moves. And if you go backwards in time, so let's so this is the most recent position. If you go backwards one and then make another move, then that old avenue where this was played. Oops. where this was played has been cut off so it's not a very fancy undo system it just works to spawn a piece you use the chess notation for it so q will get you a queen left shift q so capital q will get you a black queen n will get you a knight the assets for the game are found in this dot local share forward slash chess so we see there's a folder called chess pieces if we go inside these are all different chess pieces. So if you want to mix and match them, change how it looks, that is up to you. And that is it. It is just a simple chess board editor. It was inspired by Lee Chess's chess board editor. So it's very similar to this, except key binding based rather than, you know, GUI based. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show this off. I'm very proud of it. It works as intended, and I'll be probably using this in a few future videos.